This is Jeff Williford with UTTylerPatriots.com here with head baseball coach Chris Bertrand uh, talking to coach about the Patriots being first, picked first in the ASC preseason baseball poll uh, in the East Division. Coach, talk about uh, what that's like, first season here, um, getting the preseason accolades. Well, I think we're honored by it and we're very thrilled by it because I think it's right in line with uh, the things that we want to get accomplished here. We talk a lot about championships and when we recruit guys and when we assemble these teams, that's our goal. And so it's in line with what we want to try to get accomplished and so it's an honor and it's a thrill. And I think it, it means for us that we have to figure out how to balance that. It means for us that, um, you know, we, we had a good recruiting class. It means we have a winning tradition. It means that, that people respect what we do and the way we go about doing our work, and so it's an honor there. But at the same time, we recognize that we still have to prove those things on the field. And so it's a motivation. We know that there's going to be a target on our back because of some of the past championships and because now we're picked one again. And so we have to use that as motivation where we have to continue working hard. We have to continue that if we're going to be in the top spot and people are going to put that target on our back, then we have to be ready for that. You mentioned the recruiting class. You also have some, some pretty good returning players coming back, uh, Jack Barkley. Uh, junior pitcher and uh, T.J. Martin, third baseman, senior, uh, were picked to the uh, preseason players to watch. Uh, talk about those guys. Talk about their leadership, and maybe talk about uh, expectations for them and the rest of the team uh, right. this year. Some of the well, I think T.J. and Jack really, really warrant that that recognition right there because of what they've done in the past. T.J. being a Gold Glove winner, and because of the three seasons that he's put together, this being his fourth year as a starter, and Jack, what he's done on the mound for the last two years, and some of the awards and things that he's won. Those guys work hard at their craft, and they deserve that recognition recognition and they deserve to have their names put on that list. I think for us as a team we're really excited about what it is we have. I think we're hitting our stride. We, we're coming off for probably the best two days of practice uh, that we've had so far this spring as we kind of look towards the opener in about two weeks. Um, and so we're, we're really really itching to get started uh, and, and I think we've got a team that warrants being where they are but at the same time we realize that there's a, a little bit more to go. Some of the other teams in the east, uh, Texas Dallas was picked second, Mississippi College third. Do you know anything about the, your new guys? A lot of new stuff coming on, a lot of new players, new uniforms, new hats. Right. Talk about uh, what some of the things the fans can expect this year. Well, I think the East Division just overall is such a competitive division. Uh, we have so much respect for what this, this conference and what this division is all about. And so you've got to respect your opponents no matter who's in the other dugout. But, but definitely Texas-Dallas has a winning tradition and everything that Shane has built there, we respect them so much. Mississippi College the same way. For every Everything they've done and all the success they've had in baseball in the American Southwest Conference. We respect all the teams in our division. We know how competitive it is. We know what a grind it's going to be. And so that's another big part of why we're excited to be up there um, is that we have so much respect for our opponents and so much respect for some of the other great coaches and programs that are out there that, that it, it means a lot for us to be a part of that. Well, you talked about the grind. The long season gets started almost a week. February 8th, the Dallas Christian Tournament in Dallas against Roger State. If you guys at home want to follow Coach Burt uh, on Twitter, you can always do it at Coach Burt, uh, or you can just go to uttylerpatriots.com. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you.